Yo, it's your boy, Rollo Jenkins. Uh, obviously, I guess I was wrong about my prediction about the uh, Ward Dawson fight. Uh, obviously, I was expecting something from Dawson that just uh, didn't happen, obviously. Uh, before I get to Dawson, I got to give Ward his props. He is the man in boxing. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. This is my opinion. My top 10. My rankings. My criteria. For who I think is the best. Right now, I think Andre Ward is the pound for pound best fighter on the planet. Hands down. Nobody close. Uh, Next, obviously... This might surprise some people. I'm going to say Sergio Martinez. And one of the most important things that I base my ratings on is who the fuck do you fight? You know what I'm saying? Are you fighting the best available fighters out there? Or are you just picking motherfuckers you think you can beat? You know, which a lot of these motherfuckers do, I believe. So, but anyway, big props to Andre Ward for doing his thing. He beat the fuck out of Chad Dawson. Whack ass, you know. Um, Andre Ward handled his business, he handled it in fucking business like fashion. And I, I can't say nothing but good things about the boy, you know. Like I said in my prediction video, I liked him already, and I wouldn't be surprised if he won easy, but I was surprised that he won that easy, you know. Uh, I honestly think that his next fight should be against Kelly Pavlik. He should fight Kelly Pavlik. Hell, they could even throw it on pay-per-view. You know? Put Pavlik's little white ass on up there. Uh, throw him in there with Kelly Pavlik. Then he can fight Chavez Jr. Uh, Because you know whether Chavez loses his fight with, uh, with Martinez or not. It won't matter. Uh, he still got to move up to 168, if not 175, but he definitely got to move up soon, so that'll be a big fight for Ward, they can build up, another fight that they can possibly put on pay-per-view, uh, Butte get a couple more wins under his belt, beat a couple motherfuckers, maybe he'll come back in the rematch and beat Frock, you know, then we got that fight that Ward can have, you know, further places, uh, cement his legacy in boxing history. You know? Nothing. I ain't shit. What the fuck bad can you say about war? He not only came in there undefeated, left undefeated, he didn't leave it in the hands of the judges. None of that shit. It ain't nothing you can say about that performance. You know? He basically dominated every round. Some people gave Dawson a round. I don't really think he won the round. Uh... Do one Olympic gold, you know. I don't know what else you can fucking say about the boy. Now, let me get to Dawson's hoe ass. Now, people want to talk about Victor Ortiz quitting after he got his jaw broken and all that shit. This motherfucker just straight quit. This motherfucker straight quit. I don't know about y'all. I don't care to see that motherfucker fight ever again. And I ain't bullshit. Nigga, don't come. I don't want to watch no Chad Dawson prediction videos. I don't want to watch no motherfucking who he might fight next. What should he do? He should retire. That's what the fuck he should do. Let's take his own punk ass home to Connecticut and retire. What his old weird name as kids. Just fucking retire. I just, that's all I can say about his ass. Just fucking retire. That's the most, that's the best thing he can do for me right now, you know? It's one thing to lose a fight. It's one thing to lose a fight the way he lost and not even make an attempt. I mean, that nigga just fucking quit. That nigga told the referee, fucking stop this shit, man. Are you serious? Listen, if y'all went, I don't even know if I made a video about this shit. But 
I never thought that that was a punk move for Ortiz to quit with a broken jaw. I didn't. I mean, a broken jaw, I don't give a fuck what's broken. If it's a fucking pinky finger, that shit broken. I don't think that's no shit you should be trying to fight through. You know what I'm saying? When a nigga trying to do some hurt to you, you know what I mean? It's one thing to fucking hurt your arm while you're doing push-ups and trying to push through it. It's a whole different story. When you break your jaw and somebody else is trying to fucking hit it. That's crazy. It's ludicrous. This nigga Chad Dawson just fucking... When was the last time Andre Ward had a knockout win? You know? Alright. So be it. Whenever it was, it was a while ago. You know what I'm saying? This nigga fucking quit. That was such a... Man, that nigga is a... Fuck Chad Dawson. I just can't fuck with the boy no more. I don't know. I'm sorry. I just can't condone that shit. You lose, you lose. You get your ass whooped. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? I can deal with that. I can deal with that all day. You know what I'm saying? Give a fuck about dude getting the ass whooped. Shit is boxing. It happens. But nigga, to quit? To just straight up quit? Nah, fuck that. That nigga is dead in my eyes. Fuck it. Um... Lucas Matisse. Um, same thing. I mean, like, what bad can you say about the boy? I believe he should get a rematch with Zap Judah. Fight his ass again. Put that shit in Brooklyn. And on the undercard of that fight, put uh, Marcos McDonough on the card. Have his ass fighting uh, somebody. Brandon Rios. Marcos Medina, Brandon Rios. And the winner of them two fight, Matisse. Man, I don't know. I just, I like Matisse, you know. I think that he beat Zab. I think he beat, I don't know if he beat Alexander. But I definitely think he beat Zab. Uh, i like to see him get another shot. Do his thing, you know. But, uh. He had a motherfucking good ass, good ass win against the Jose, but it was hard to judge that win because I've only seen the Jose fight once, and the motherfucker he was fighting, I had never seen either. So it's kind of hard to judge a fighter off of one fight, you know. You got to see him fight different styles before you can, you know, really assess if he's good or not, you know. So I really, I really can't say if Jose is that good. How big a win that was for Matisse. Uh, you know, because I don't know enough about a Jose. But big ups to uh, Matisse. He did what he was supposed to do. You know. Now it's on to the next. Hopefully, they won't keep Canelo in his ass. You know. Somebody will get in there with him. I like to see him get in there with Tim Bradley. I think I heard Dante 562 say that, but yeah, I like to see him get in there with uh, Bradley, maybe. Uh, shit, put him in there with uh, Freddie Roach's pupil. Um, you know, Bob, Bob, Bob Barham's cash cop, you know. I guess it'll be a hard fight to sell, in a sense, but not really. I mean, come on, think about the money he gonna want gonna be fucking crumbs compared to everybody else but you know why they won't do it because he got the potential to beat his ass so nah that, that won't happen but if he was a real champion well he ain't no champion at all real one or fake one right now for sure if he was a real champ you know that's kind of fight motherfucker would take but you know those days might be long gone like a motherfucker Out, outside of Andre Ward but anyway that's my two and a half cents can't be two cents that's uh that's 78 shit <laughs> so that'd be my two and a half cents 